Hello, Ikatosh. How are you? G'day, mate. G'day, everyone. How are we doing today? So we're back with some more Gran Turismo 7 gameplay. I've also got a video coming out today. So you get the double dose of content. Which I guess is only fair because you didn't get any yesterday. Um, let's get rid of that and get rid of that. You get the lovely smock hand cam. Alrighty, well, it's just basically, um, menu books, although there is something I want to investigate before, and it's on the thumbnail. I've unlocked Brand Central, which means I can now buy my DeLorean. So we're going to do that after this race. And we're basically going to muck around and see if we can tune it or whatever. In fact, I, I sort of had a thought, I think I'm going to buy two. One to leave stock, and one to absolutely clap the heck out of it rice the absolute living daylights out of it doing great heading out soon but had to check in no worries ikatosha i appreciate it i really appreciate that mate whatever you're doing today i hope it's uh hope it's fun twitchy g'day mate you're still um still under the px7 branding on youtube <laughs> is that smoke show bruh no, Smoke Show is no more. Smoke Show is now Sub-Zero. Thankfully. But I guess you could call... I'm not going to say that, actually. Alright, so that was the Honda Integra for the Japanese FF Challenge menu book. I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely not rushing. I'm quite early, um... I'm quite early in the... in the campaign compared to some other people. You can't do it on the phone. I think you can. Let me have a look. Yeah, mate, mate, mate. Go to... I'll show you. Oh, maybe you can't. I think I'm full of rubbish. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm full of... I'm full of garbage. On my personal YouTube account, I've got like an edit channel button underneath. But then if I go to my smoke screen YouTube, that doesn't come up. So, I don't know whatever setting that is. But yeah, maybe you can. It's like, I can do it on my phone. There you go. Oh, dear. No, it's, it's all good, mate. I, I don't really mind. Hang on, that's that's kind of bright on the camera, isn't it? Hang on a minute. There we go, that might be a little bit better. Okay. So I've done... I've got Brand Central now. So whoever's in chat now gets to witness... Me purchasing... The Dream. Living the Dream. Now, for some reason, the car they've got in the game is the S2. Which is essentially... The S2 is not a real car. It was a sort of update car that was proposed by the new... The new company that overtook the DeLorean... Uh, that took over the DeLorean Motor Company. But it was never actually made into a real car. So I think it's a bit of a strange thing that they've got the S2 2004. I don't know why they wouldn't just grab an original. And put like a 1981 model here in the game or whatever. But this is it. Half a million dollars. So, or half a million credits. So quite expensive. But we're going to go full send. 
We are going to go full send and purchase the dream. Wait, what's the channel here? Apparently there's a new EV DeLorean coming. We're going to buy it. Oh, I've just put, I've just bought the dream car. That's absolutely gorgeous. Yes, I want to change into this car now. All right, I'm going to go and see what parts we can add to this. It's blasphemy. Absolutely blasphemous. You've got that right, Ikatosh. Get it, Lounsey. G'day, mate. Marty, let's go back to the future. Greetings from Lounseyland, Australia. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Now, how you going, mate? All right, what parts can we pop on this bad boy? No, oh, a new engine. Restore the engine settings to factory default. G'day, Dad. How's it going? Doc's Turbo Edition. <laughs> Alright, I, I want to drive it... Oh, we'll purchase some tyres first, actually. That, that'd be a good start. Oh, distinct twitchy. Mate, that looks that looks great, whatever, you, whatever you've done there. Uh, we've got to purchase... The Sports Soft. Oh, we'll go, um, we might as well purchase some racing tires too. We'll get the mediums. You never know when we'll find ourselves in a situation where we need those and oh, crying out loud, I probably should buy the wet tires too. It's the only annoying thing about... See, I don't necessarily mind this tuning. It doesn't interest me that much, but it's annoying that you have to buy all the tyres. Because if you find yourself in a race and you don't have the... And you don't have the tyres purchased, you're kind of in the mud a bit. But there we go. Look at that. We've just dropped about 150k on tyres. Definitely nitrous. <laughs> We've... Okay, we'll buy it. We'll buy it, but I want to drive it stock first. We'll, we'll go back and clap the living daylights out of... Oh, no, don't go into music rally. Thank goodness, okay. All right. Let's see, where do we want to drive it? I haven't unlocked Bathurst yet. That's this dot here. I don't have Bathurst. What, what do I have? Oh man, I've hardly got any tracks. How long are you streaming for? Surely more than two hours. I might possibly be doing my GT Champions race if it's not cancelled. Oh yeah. It'll probably be more than two, I'm just saying. I thought that engine changes were only on the roulette wheel. <laughs> Music rally, lol. I saw the exact same article, Get It Lounsy. I know what you're talking about. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll just go on to... We'll go on to Suzuka. I think that offers a... Um, I think Suzuka offers a pretty good... Uh, compromise between handling and straight line speed. Yeah, I know what you mean about that... Um, that music ra- uh, the- the engine change. Um, alright. Let's pop the sports tyres on for now. Car settings? Setting sheet? Oh dear, goodness me. I think the nitro's here. Which I've now got on the car. <laughs> Oh, we don't have to use it, though. People are doing GT7, but forgot we have a Division 1 season still going on on GTS. I, I tell you, that's probably not quite as straightforward of a... of a transition back over, because they're quite different physics, aren't they? 
Oh, how good is this? And the music rally as well, that's a strange mode. Oh, I should purchase the brake balance controller. Oh! Alright, bit, bit, of, bit of oversteer on the brakes. <laughs> it is a mid-engine car, so I guess that's to be expected. Take that curve like he did in in sport. It's actually, uh, it's actually fairly easy. One, one of the, I don't want to say it's easy to drive because it's got that really bad um, braking oversteer. Good day, Tez. Let's try a bit of overlaying in the ear then. Maybe that will help. Oh! I got that slightly wrong. That's safe to say. Got the most ugly. Yes. How can you roast this car like that? Most ugly car in the world, mate. I hate. got to roast something I love, don't you? Hit send by accident. <laughs> yeah, right. Your cat ran across your keyboard too. Hate it when that happens. It's got to be hard to drive at the limit, actually, I reckon. 
but I wonder if when we unlock GT Auto, if we can put a massive wing on it. Let's get turn one right this time, because look at that. Bloody seven seconds off the first lap. A little bit better. I say a little bit, I was quite a bit better. I'm just waiting for the DeLorean Group 3 and Group 4 so I can race it in manufacturers now. close to beating it as you get. I wonder if we'll see manufacturers again. I'd imagine we will. Because there's a brand new manufacturer. We've got Genesis. Which is weird because it's Hyundai's luxury brand that they... Hyundai also have a car called the Hyundai Genesis, but now there's a whole other brand. Oh! But if there's no manufacturers, it'll be a bit... It'll be a bit bad for Genesis, because I'd, I'd imagine... I'd imagine they would never get as much use as they would have in GT Sport if you could choose them as a manufacturer. are pretty deadly, eh? Oh, here's old Ben, you sitting there with your... Uh, with your little wrench icon as well. He's got the power to do it. That is hard. That's really difficult. It's just as scary as it looks from the outside as it felt on the inside. Oh! Alright, this car definitely wants to kill you. But it's not the horrifically uncontrollable type that maybe the, the GT350R or the three Corvette, something like that. The C63 AMG. Those cars, they just want to oversteer any given opportunity. Oh.
cool. Okay, so I don't think this car has too much power oversteer. It's oversteer when you lift off. Lift off oversteer. That's probably what you'd call that. I can't believe I just lost all that time. Oh, I've driven off the track now. That's a big gain, isn't it? Tell you what, with enough practice, I think I could get this pretty good. I won't, I won't dwell on it too long. I just sort of want to get turn one right. It's obviously not like that. That, particularly the entry, because the car just, the rear just snaps. really need to buy the brake balance controller. Drive faster. Why didn't I think of that? I'll press the accelerator harder. You should be a race engineer, Tess, or a crew chief. Time travel already. Actually, I'll tell you, I'm surprised there's not a, um, there's not a trophy, for, actually. As I was saying, I'm surprised it's not actually a trophy for reaching 88 miles an hour because there is in some games that have this car. Driver San Francisco had it. Okay. Basically 100% overlay. Kind of stops that. I'll try it one more time and then we'll move on.
I think I know how to get it right. Just with enough practice, I can do it. <laughs> oh, look, I've done my daily workout. How good's that? So I just don't know why I've gone... Oh, I'll buy the... Actually, it comes up as, um, comes up as an RR drivetrain, rear engine, rear wheel drive. I guess it's probably accurate. I think the engine sits over the top of the rear axle, so that'd probably do it. What's this do? Now, where's the... Brake balance controller. Alright. So we've got the Japanese FF sports car menu book right now. And I think we have to earn one more car for it. So we've got to do this race. The Suzuki Swift. Alright. Um, Japan FF, I think. Oh, now I've got to... I cannot enter the Japan FF race in a European rear engine car. Who would have thunk it? Oh, let's go the Civic, though. Comfort. Oh. I want the four-wheel steering controller. Is that a thing, is it? I want that. Oh, look, I tell you what, I was skeptical about this, this um, tuning here at the start, but I tell you, it's actually not that bad. Have you tried the new Swift variant they added? I'm assuming you're talking about the Group 4 one. I haven't. Is it good, is it? How much is it? Well, I'm assuming it's going to be in Brand Central, right? Uh, Suzuki. Oh yeah, baby. 350,000 credits. That's the one you're talking about, isn't it? The back looks kind of good. Oh. Oh, it's got to be yellow. Got to be yellow, right? It's a funny ad, but apparently it's good fun. Okay. Oh, I should have changed into the car. Because what I'm going to try and get into the habit of is buying a car and then immediately going to the tuning shop and buying tires and the brake balance controller What do you start with? Just the hard.
Man, that's expensive. But oh, you can immediately tell credits are going to be hard to come by. I probably can't use that car for this event, right? Yeah, no, I can't. We'll try that car later, because I want to do this race for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Sports Soft, that's all I wanted. Excellent. Didn't expect it. No, no. I'll tell you what, I don't think many people did at all. It's always good, though, to be surprised. Although you can, you can afford to go frontwards in road cars, can't you? It's kind of rainy. It's a bit of rain out on the left. It's looking like it'll miss us. Visible wall there, so you can't drive into the side of the pit lane. It's good that you can look uh, look to the left and the right now. All right, catching up to Igor Fraga. Never thought I'd say that in my life. Tell you what, how's the Nikita Nap Mazepin news? I think it's a little unfair on the guy, to be honest. So I don't know if I don't know if anybody read he released a statement today. Yeah, he said he, he had ongoing willingness to accept the conditions proposed in order to continue, but they were completely ignored and no process was followed in this unilateral step. So it sounds to me he was actually keen to try and work through it to keep his seat, uh, but it seems it was ignored, which... I didn't know that yesterday, and I, I was sort of a little bit, I don't know what the word would be, a little bit apprehensive about Mazepin as a person, because from what I, from what I seem to understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that Mazepin would have to completely sort of 
truncate himself from Russia. He couldn't race under the Russian flag. He would have to... Um, he would have to sort of speak out against the Russian government's actions, right? That, that, that was my understanding of it. And then news that he was, would not be allowed to continue with the team sort of told me that he didn't want to speak out against the Russian government, which inadvertently suggests he kind of supports it. Um, that was my thinking yesterday, but I saw his statement this morning and now, now it seems he was willing to work with them, but they sort of didn't want anything to do with it. So I think he's been shafted a little bit, which is unfair. You know, he didn't. He definitely didn't have the best season in Formula One last year. But I think it's tough for any rookie. Tsunoda didn't really have the best season either. But I, I have sort of a thing in my mind where I tend not to judge the rookies too hard until after their second season. The first season, I feel like a rookie kind of has a free pass. You know, maybe they don't. Maybe teams don't see it that way. But as just someone watching it. Um, I, I see it that way. You know, I don't really mind how often they spin out or if, how often they crash in their rookie season because it's all brand new. But then in your second season, I'd probably like, it, it, I'd probably expect to see some better, some better performances. So I was sort of keen to see how Bazapin went this year, especially with kind of the hype. Oh well, well, not hype, but the focus has put into the 22 car. You know, maybe he would have had a better car with him. But they're just my thoughts. I think it's unfair. He only got one season. He needed, he sort of needed two for me to really gather how much of a, how good of a driver he is. But oh well, it happens, doesn't it? I think we're just lucky to uh, not be in that area of Europe that's experiencing this. Seems like he's got shoved under the bus a bit, given the current climate. It's tough for all parties involved. Yeah, I think I think what the biggest issue is is the loss of the Eurocarly sponsorship. Because wasn't his dad a massive stakeholder in it or something? So he doesn't have um, he doesn't have that anymore. I've got to change car, don't I? So yeah, he's lost the Ural Kali sponsorships. So he doesn't have his father's funding. So there you go. Um, what have I got to do? Change car, and I've got to get jump in the Mini Cooper, right? Here we go. Hello. Now I read this morning that there was a tuning glitch with this car. But let's see. No, hang on. What have I got to do? Tune to 360 or more. Okay. So what are we on? 251. Well. I think we've got to do the customary. The two that I like to do immediately. Oh, it's already at 336. Jeez. Okay. Let's not. Make it insane. Let's just give it some better brakes. Improve the engine response. That'll do it. Bit of weight reduction. But I don't think... Well, that's it, isn't it? I've done it. Oh, 360. I am stupid. I switch off everything. What does this do? Oh, I won't do that. The suspension. Increases stability. Yes, please. Alrighty. Well, that was easy. You did exactly what was required. Thank you, Dad. Jeez, mate. Bloody telling me what to do. You see, it said before, tuning is difficult. 
It's so difficult to go and add some parts to your car. Oh, Alsace. And Sardinia. Okay. Well, those... I tell you what, those, those two tracks are decent. I, I'm absolutely in the minority that actually like uh, that actually likes Alsace. This time around, I want you to collect European hot hatches. The hot just means they're extra speedy. Okay. All right. I'm gonna try my. I'm gonna try my Mini Cooper then, I guess. At Brands Hatch. I'm sure I'm driving my Mini Cooper that I just tuned, right? Godzilla, g'day! Hello, gamers! Hello, Godzilla. How are you doing, mate? Oh, yeah, Sportsoft. They're the ones we want. All good. Alrighty. Doesn't appear to be any rain on the radar. car actually feels surprisingly nice. <laughs> I was expecting something way worse. I don't think I've quite got the straight line speed though. We'll see how we go. I've still got seven seconds to catch up to those top guys so this might actually not be enough here. Yeah, they're, they're gapping me down the straight. I'm being swamped. Alright, I don't think I've got enough, enough here to actually win this one. So I gained like a second and a half in that one corner. They're just there. Finally, your panels came in. Now I've just got to wait till the wife and kids go to sleep. Do you mean pedals? That's good that whatever you need finally has arrived for you. That's a bit wide. It's got to be close, this one, I reckon. I somehow think I'm not quite going to do it, though. No, he's going to drive away on the straight. Oh! If only I had better straight line speed. If only there was a thing I could do to this car to give it better straight line speed. Oh! If only.
Oh, wait, there is. All right, what do we got in here? Club sports, okay. Should I just go and bloody put all the racing gear on it? <laughs> I'm trying to see what gives me the biggest horsepower increase. Oh, the supercharger. All right, let's maybe put a lower end, lower end one on, if there is. Oh, here we go. Yeah, turbocharger. Low end. Oh, <laughs> all good. Thrustmaster TCLM. Wow. They are, um... They're good pedals from what I've heard. Is there, like, a really low end supercharger? What does this do? Only one horsepower. Power restrictor. I don't think that... I think that's what it sounds like. Because that buffs me to 109 horsepower. I don't want, like... I don't want to become, like, OP. I just want... that maybe will give me 75 horsepower. Oh, let's just do a combination of parts then. Oh, there we go, 73, and then maybe I'll add the... Maybe I'll add, uh, what is, how many will this add? Nothing. I don't want to change the sound, though. Oh, let's just run with that. We've got 73 horsepower now. Oh, that's the wrong one. Brands hatch. Thanks for the friend request. Hopefully we can race soon. No worries. Yeah. Now I'll accept. I'll accept anyone that comes. Uh, that anyone that comes through. As long as it's not a close friend, I'll never accept those. Unless it's somebody I actually know in real life. Is it flat? No. It's not flat. Okay. That was just experiment. Well, the way I see the friend request thing, it makes other people, it makes the requester happy, makes them feel noticed, and also it fills up my friends list so I get a better friends ranking board in the game, so we no longer have worldwide leaderboards, which I think is a massive mistake. breaking on the exit of the corner for. Alright, I'm still slightly underpowered on the straights, but I'm more powered than before, and I was like, what, two seconds off the guy? Once I get into my top gear, I don't quite have the speed. Alright, 
Yeah, we're a lot closer this time. Lopez and Baptiste Beauvoir. We've got Williams Coke and TRL Tutu. Oh, absolutely nailed turn one then. How's that for a move? <laughs> it's not even a break at that corner. Oh, maybe it is. This car is a lot better to drive compared to GT Sport, to be honest. Sweet as we've got ourselves. I forget, I forget what the gift card was for this. I, I don't remember the gift card. Oh, okay. The big boy Mini Cooper. Where in Aussie land are you? I'm in Queensland. That's about as specific as I'm going to get. <laughs> Uh, we'll call it South East Queensland. I'm in South East Queensland. Good place to be. Or actually, I don't know, a bit of, bit of flooding, eh? But that's sort of subsiding a bit now, which is not, which is always good to hear. A lot of damage, though. Jeez, man. I was lucky not to be impacted personally, but there was flooding in my in my suburb. I could walk five minutes down the road and there was flooding. So. My building's up on stilts though, so. I would have been fine if I did get flooded. But. Obviously, I prefer it not to happen. Alright. I'm gonna call this corner the roller coaster coming up. you could probably chuck that in almost full throttle. <laughs> there any rain on the way? I reckon this corner's flat chat. I'm gonna try this. Oh, I want a lift. Yeah, it's it's not. <laughs> I tell you bloody what. You can build your house on stilts, but what do you do with your cars? Exactly, yeah. You build your car on stilts, obviously. 
No, uh, I'd say you'd have to... That, that's the thing about sort of living where I live. You've got to be aware of where and when flooding may occur so you can move your car to higher ground. Personally, I would, if I knew there was potential flooding coming, I would move my car to... I would literally just go and park my car somewhere where it won't be flooded up, up on top of a hill or something and leave it. Let's try this again. Oh no, he's gonna get in my way, isn't he? That was much better that time. I tell you what, it's actually a lot better coming this way. That corner absolutely sucks in the other direction. breaking too late. Now I'm not going to win this. Try again. I'm fully, fully aware I could go into a more powerful car, but I think I can do it in this. It's night time this time. because I won't crash at this corner now. Like I did twice on the other run. I won't crash, immediately crashes. This track's very cool. Can you imagine dropping one of the Red Bull cars around here? Oh. In the other direction, that would be terrifying. The other direction's worse, because that corner's absolutely aggressively downhill, which unsettles your car way more. Is this a different uh, layout, or just with more elevation ch changes? Uh, it's a brand new layout. It's called Alsace Test Course. I've actually always been wanting to see new Alsace layouts because the format of the name is Alsace-Village which tells me they kind of intend to add more more layouts because you wouldn't like put a dash in the name if that was going to be just the name. It's like what they did with Sardinia Windmills, Sardinia-Windmills and then they ended up adding more tracks calling it road track. Oh. I'm pretty underpowered, aren't I? He's gonna overtake me again, watch. Bye! See you later, mate. I've got the fastest lap, though. I think they break in there, or they at least lift. As I gain a few ten. Oh, look at that! I've gained like a second just by being able to take that corner flat, and then I gain loads of time up here. And I want to move over to the left. So he'll get up alongside me, but then he'll break and get out of my way. Get out of the way, mate. Oh, he won't overtake me. I still don't think I'm going to get this. No! Oh, no! There's not enough corners. The elevation change is pretty significant, though. I still think I could win it. I'm going to get the reward here, but I'm going to try again. Was it? 
I'm not satisfied with coming second. No, not replay, retry. I still think I can win it because on this, on the previous attempt, I ran into the back of a car on that elevate, on that massive roller coaster corner. So I think if I don't do that, I won't lose that second orbit or so that I lost there. Oh, I've done it again. The two tracks I'm really waiting for is Apricot Hill and El Capitan. Interesting. Apricot Hill's been teased, hasn't it? Or I don't think it's been confirmed, but I think there's speculation to suggest that it's been teased before. Oh, Super GT, mate! You know. <laughs> oh, mate, welcome back. I'm going to keep myself more composed than last time, because I, I kind of lost it. Kind of lost my marbles last time. Oh, I'm, I'm very much enjoying it, mate. I was watching your stream earlier, watching your fuel save in the, in the big truck at... Uh, trial Mountain. I think I still think you could have won it. Or I still think you could have gone first on your leaderboard. Tezza, welcome back. Night in this game looks wait. Night looks nice in this game, big fan of it. Yeah, no, it's great. Oh that was a bit late. Alright, I'm a lot closer to the leaders this time. I've got an absolutely awful run out of the final turn there. I'm going to get swamped by Coque Lopez. But I gain like a second at this corner. Because he breaks there. I'll tell you what, uh, if you're still there, Super GT. I was pretty apprehensive, a little bit you know, uh, thrown by how much tuning is in the game, but I'm actually enjoying the tuning shot. Oh, get done, mate. Oh no, they're going to overtake me in the run up to the line, aren't they? Aha! <laughs> I think I could do that again and get first on the leaderboard. Cool challenge, to be fair. You just had to get over that last hill and you could have made it to like a final chicane or something. Need to give it a chance. You think the tuning is good fun as well? Yeah. I definitely... I didn't want to write it off when I first saw it. I didn't want to just say, oh, yuck, tuning. Well, the tuning parts is more specifically what I'm referring to. I'm struggling with the Sector 2 of Deep Forest Circuit experience. That's in the Audi R8 Evo, isn't it? I think I saw Atom struggling with that last night as well. Beautiful corner. Thank you. Relaxing scenery. Welcome to the stream. I saw all the tuning parts and I was like, oh, what's this all about? But it's actually pretty smoothly implemented. You literally just buy them. It tells you how it's going to impact the car and it just puts it on the car and that's it. You don't have to worry about it. So I'm making it standard practice to... I'm making it standard practice to simply... After I buy a car, go straight to the tuning shop, buy the sports tyres if, if it's a road car, and the racing tyres if it's a, a race car, and the brake balance adjuster. 
That's what I'm doing. That's my standard process. All right. Um, we've got oh, Sardinia with my extreme straight line speed difficulties. I think it's this one's going to be quite hard to actually get the first time. Oh, yeah. Should I just jump in in my Porsche Taycan? I'll surely win it then. No, I might go... I might go in this a bath. It'll have better straight line speed. But it won't be absolutely OP. Is that the Super GT? Mate, I'm asking the same question. I know. <laughs> Never in my living days would I think Super GT would jump into a live stream like me. Comfort tyres. Oh, mate. This is going to be all over the place. I don't have brake balance adjuster either. Look at that interior. What's what's that sticking up? Oh, that must be the, the pressure. Okay. It's like a snail eye. Hello, viewer. <laughs> Okay, this car actually doesn't feel completely awful on these comfort tyres. I kind of expected to spin out on that first corner. Oh. No, it kept it on the track. That's clean. I think I broke where I expected to break. Where I would have done if I was in that mini again. Oh. Right. Hey! I should have good straight line speed compared to the leaders. Yeah, I'm gaining. Oh, I've gained like half a second. I've gained like more than a second down this middle straight. Let's go start of the blue. Oh, the leader's just there. Oh! That's the leader just up the road. <laughs> Godzilla's losing it. Godzilla was God Godzilla right now is me when Super GT entered for the first time. Wow, that could be taken out of context. That could be very much taken out of context, couldn't it? What are your thoughts on the new Group 3, Group 2 priced cars, Super GT? Are they, they're pro, are they all priced differently? Is there not like a standard price for a Group 3 car, is there? I know you didn't ask me, Tez, but I'll give you my answer anyway. I don't mind it. So I kind of always thought it was a bit weird that I could buy like a Group 4 version of Bugatti Veyron for 350,000 credits. And then go and buy the road car and it's like 2 million. Is that, is that what you mean, Tess? Oh, why is he breaking there? Oh! Oh! <laughs> that went wrong. <laughs> Well, this is going to be a challenge now. I'm surprised I didn't. Have, I'm surprised I didn't just stop in my tracks. Oh. Ah, oh, it's all right. We'll, we'll do this. Bit of grass never killed anyone. Do you think some of the cars are overpriced for what they are? Oh, 
Godzilla, maybe I should start streaming. I'll tell you what, I've only been streaming for maybe five or six months as well, and Super GT already knows about me. Which I never thought would happen until I got like several tens of thousands of, sub of subscribers and became a more household name. Which I hope can happen one day. You have to start small, you have to put in the effort. Let's go back to the cafe. Okay. Thank you, Luca. I've got my European Hot Hatch collection. And now I've got to hear all about it. Oh, Scapes. Excellent. Oh, GT Auto. Well, I'm immediately going to go and see if we can put a massive wing on the DeLorean. That's, that's probably going to happen. <sighs> Are you familiar with the term Hot Hatch? No. Oh, okay. How do I go back and answer yes now? Cool. I'm being sarcastic here. I actually think this is quite a classy touch, to be honest. It's like Lewis Hamilton of sim racing, meeting him in the men's washroom. <laughs> it's like running into him as you're sort of coming back and forth out of the bathroom. You, you run e run into each other and you go, oh, sorry. And then you, you look and you realize who you've just run into. And then, yeah, you just lose it. Start screaming like a little girl. Fabio Filippini. Okay. Yes, I, I am. Oh, the Pininfarina director. I don't mind a bit of Pin and Farina action. Yes, I do know Pin and Farina. Pin and Farina also designed one of the one of the facelifts on the Jaguar XJ, the first generation. They also designed the Alfa Romeo GTV. Haha, <laughs> look look at me go because I researched this in my car spotting Instagram page. So there, you'll have a look. Smokes car spots on Instagram. Go and check me out if you're interested in if you're interested in sort of seeing cars out and about. I'll take a photo of a cool car if it drives past, and I'll do a bit of research and write up. I think it's about it's about five hundred words or so. About the car. And I get to learn all this. Do you want to hear more? I wasn't even reading. Yeah, not, not particularly. Alright. Let's get the new menu book going. I'll visit... Visit maintenance and servicing. Alright. Let's start you. Tuning shop is about improving the car's performance. GT Auto is customising the way it looks. Alright, wash a car at GT Auto. The most difficult... The most difficult objective in sim racing history. <laughs> no, no, big wing ding. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ooh, 
Alright, so GT Auto looks like a car dealership for some reason, but okay. I just want to see if there's any Aussie skate locations here. Oh, hey, hey, Oliver. Oh, Olivier, Olivier. The only thing you need in tuning is the Nitro. I've actually already purchased the Nitro for the DeLorean. Are you familiar with the photography, with photography using a camera? Not particularly, I just use my phone. Oh, I've got to, I've got to do the tutorial. Oh. Okay. Alright, alright then. That looks good. See, I know this much. I've just never done it in real life. Excellent. Is that all I need to do there? Take a photo? No, I don't want to save that one. Can I do the rest now? Yes, I can. Beautiful. All spots. Australia. Loads in Victoria. And Tasmania. That's going to be it, isn't it? Yeah, just Victoria and Tasmania. Rightio. I was kind of hoping there'd be some Queensland shots, but righty-ho. I need to change my car. And GT Auto. Oh, righty-ho. Maintenance and servicing. It looks like a one-story building, though. They have three floors, but it looks like a one-story building. <laughs> I think you scared. I think I scared off Super GT. No, no, he's. I think he's been streaming all day. It'd be. What time would it be in London right now? Uh, time in London. It's currently quarter past two in the morning. <laughs> Clayton, mate, good day. On this floor, we'll perform maintenance on your car where we also widen bodies. No, I, I lost, I lost the plot, Godzilla, last time. Super GT entered the stream. Well, I just got to wash the car, so we'll just do that. Oh, the controller vibrates too. I'll be honest, I don't get the car wash thing. Does your car get dirty as you race? Is that is that the idea? But yeah, that's so that's it. Okay. I still want to go and see. Hey, oh, I can put a wing. <laughs> I can't believe I can put a wing on the DeLorean. <laughs> I mean, that just looks horrific. That looks absolutely horrendous. 
That that doesn't look too bad. I'll give it that. That yeah, I think that's too big, and that just looks ridiculous. We're not gonna do it though. Side skirt. Oh, don't want to do that. That looks horrendous as well. Fifteen thousand to make it look like it's a bottom feeder fish. They said we could, we could import our GT Sport liveries. Have you figured that out yet? Oh yes. Um, I haven't figured it out, but somebody else did and sort of posted it in one of my one of the Discord servers I'm in. So let me see. Oh, wonder if I could find it. Oh dear. Oh, hang on. Let let's try. Yes. You go to, you go to livery editor. It's in livery editor, and then it's open design. And then they should be there. I don't have any. I don't have any liveries. But that's where they should come up. That's where they should come up. So, there you go. Livery editor, open design. And then they'll be in a list ready to go. They'll only be on the specific car that you have delivery for. So, if you made 10 different liveries on 10 different cars, they won't show up on the same menu. You have to go to each individual car to get delivery for it. But there you go. Oh, I'll see what else is there, actually. The, that wing looks like a Wreckfest add-on. After all, you can be fast if you're not rocking a great livery. Can't be fast, yet. Yeah. You can't be fast if you're not rocking a great livery. That I think that's where I'm going wrong. Wheels. Oh. So they got loads of wheel brands here. I'll tell you what, if you're a wheel guy, this is heaven. I'm not a wheel guy, though. Racing items, bonnet pin. Oh, yeah. Number plate. Paint color. Oh. Oh dear, there's a lot to do there if you're into that sort of stuff. Yeah, none of mine were there. Ah. I'm not sure then, I'm sorry. I think that's for... To be fair, though, I think that's for liveries you've made. Are they are you looking for liveries you created, or like ones that were in your collection? Yeah, oh, there are other services. Yes, I just was investigating, Luca. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
finish in the top three in the Tokyo Highway Parade Race. Oh, raining, so drive carefully. Ones I made. I love Mustangs and made some cool liveries. Oh, yeah, that's that's a shame then. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't really know what else there is. Because I, I, I didn't make any liveries. So it's not something I've really put time into trying to suss out. It's just I happened to see somebody post how to do it. And I thought I'd share that with you. What's this? Why can't I... I don't know what this is. I thought I was in the cafe and now all of a sudden I'm looking at Google Earth. It's okay though, it looks good. It's the cinematic entry to the menu book. <laughs> yeah, so you bought the Group 4 Mustang and couldn't find any of your old liveries. Oh yeah, no good. All still good, having fun. I mean, I... I guess, I guess you can have fun making the livery again. Oh, that's about the only thing I can suggest there. But otherwise, you'd have to check in with somebody that also actually made liveries because maybe there's something I'm missing that I just simply don't know about because it's not something I look into. I thought there was going to be people here that I could click and have them compliment me on my DeLorean, but okay. I'll see how it is. Because I rocked up in... What did I rock up in? A Toyota Aqua, and I had a lady called Stella come up and start talking to me, saying how cool my car was. But then I go and rock up in the DeLorean, and supposedly they're all on the other side of the cafe where someone else has got their Aqua. I can't believe it. Alright. So I need a road car and the National B license. It's going to be raining as well. Do I have a go at the DeLorean in the rain? I don't think that's going to go particularly well, to be honest. Oh, dear. Let's go and see if I've bought... Oh. I'm going to have a go. We'll have a go. We'll put the racing... We'll put racing wets on it. Maybe that will help. I want the... I've got the per I've got the brake balance controller. Very good. Okay. You had to have have it set to open to all be transferred. Oh. Like open to all so anybody can search for it, right? That's what that means. Am I right? We're, we're going to try the DeLorean. I don't think it's going to go very well because this car is... Um, this car is very... How are you going on the brakes? Is it raining though? Is it raining right now or is it not raining right now this second? I don't think it's raining right now, is it? What they need to do, this is something I've noticed. What they need to do is put the current weather at the start of the race on the screen now. Because I don't know what the weather's like. I've got to look at the picture and sort of suss out what the track looks like. They need to tell us the level of rain that's on the circuit, so I know what tyre to start with, but... I think we'll go... Racing Intermediates. Well nuts. Okay, thanks. Ah, oh, Scotty. I'm sorry that's happened. <laughs> okay, it's not raining right now, but we're on a tyre that can kind of do both, I think. Oh, my Nitro's here. Okay. Real DeLorean's leaked, so I hope you have better luck. They did, didn't they? Apparently the doors sucked. Oh, I have loads of Nitro. Oh! I want to get that brake balance all the way forward. Is there rain on the way, or am I... Or are they full of, full of baloney? I don't think we're going to get rain in this race. I think they're full of garbage. 
You told me it was raining. Luca, stop sitting there in the cafe telling me porkies, bro. He's roasting up a good baker's dozen of pork of porky pies. That gap was closing. Oh, that's a wall. So is that. That corner's probably flat. I'd say it's probably going to be raining in the next race then. Oh, sorry, mate. Didn't see you there. Got the fifth gear? I do. That's too fast. Sorry, DeLorean. Easy, mate. I tell you what, the leaking doors probably wouldn't be as big of an issue as bloody rust could be. It's, a, it's just an unpainted stainless steel body. I'm sure it had some description of weather sealant on it, but it didn't have a full paint protection. Look at that, I beat Rick Cavalam, Patrick Blajan, Tamaoki Yamanaka, Baptiste Beauvoir. I, I don't know Suzaki. I don't know Firabend. That's Coque Lopez, Eagle Fraga, and I don't know the other ones. I think that's awesome how they got the how they've got the World Tour drivers in the game. Hello, Rick Kevilham. Race 2, is it going to be raining this time? Because they told me there was rain in this championship and there wasn't any in the first race. I'm hearing the rain already. Oh yeah, she's bucketing down. Alright, that looks pretty wet. We'll stay on the intermediates. already. Actually, I think the intermediates were the right choice there. It's... Oh, it's going to be raining pretty much the whole race. Because that moisture is like... about... Moisture's like not way up, it's just moderate. I'm 
I've still got nitro I'm not using. being a lot more aggressive in this race. Oh, I just broke too late. Let's calm it down. Let's see if we can do the rest of this lap without touching the wall. sharper than I saw. Perfectly done, doesn't get any better than that. That's the World Drivers' Championship, mate. Miracles do happen, mate. Oh, I would have taken the the Corolla. Instead, I got a Mazda Miata. I wish it did like a shuffle animation on the screen so it could give you a chance to keep track of the car you wanted. I think that would be a lot better of a way to do it. But that's all right. Let's go back to the cafe. Okay. Ooh, I've got sport mode. I've got sport mode. Let's start this new... Oh, at least I got one of them. Oh, that was three. The three of them were... Okay. Those three gift cards before the next three cards I need. I have FR front-engined, rear-engined. Ha <laughs> ha. No, front-engined, rear-wheel drive.
All right, well, having sport mode open is pretty... is a pretty big deal. So, have I unlocked... Oh, no. I've still got the circus tent to go and legend cars. I've still got two things left to unlock. I want to see what's in here now, then. All right, well, we won't show this again, but we'll read it. Driver rating. Yep, we had that before. Sportsmanship rating. We had that before. Oh. Yeah, we've I've seen this GT class thing. I think it's a pretty good system actually, because it gives maybe some slower drivers that would never see their name at the top of a leaderboard when we're all mixed together. They can perhaps see the GT3 leaderboard and be the best GT3 driver, maybe. And we've got to watch the pit lane lines now, so you have to know where they are. Oh. Let me just, um... Let me just do this for a second. Can you still... Yeah, you can still hear me. That's okay. That email address is in my description anyway, so... We'll allow that. Yeah, I just thought I'd blank out the screen in case I have to put in my password or something. I'm still here. I'm still here. Alright, yeah, we're back. We're back. Ah, uh, Godzilla, I don't get to play much. I'm 44 and three girls under the age of six. Oh man, yeah, you'd be insanely busy. Jeez. Sounds like a nice family you got there, though. So good on you for that. Yeah, I, I work a lot of the time. So that definitely um, definitely limits how much I can race. I obviously don't have a wife and kids, but like I sort of know I know what it would feel like if you want to play all the time but you can't. Alright. So this is interesting because I much preferred would have I uh, much would have preferred to see balance of performance for these sport mode races. Do I just enter? What's the PP? One forty seven or less. Do I just enter the race with no practice? <laughs> This is going to be insane. Oh, it's only high speed ring. How hard can it be?
This could perhaps be one of the worst de worst decisions I've ever made. Alrighty. Suppose you better warm up. See, the problem here is all these people could have different tunes on their car, and I just have the stock standard. So, uh, it'll definitely be, yeah, look, he's got, he's already got more straight line speed than me. That's not going to be good. Oh, no, I can already tell this is going to be absolutely awful. You're going to get wrecked. Yep. Is there anyone I recognize here? Not really. I'm at the back too. Alright, this is actually going to be an absolute disaster, I can already tell. Bye everyone! I think I'm hitting the limiter too, that won't be helping anything. Thank you! Why has he got so much straight line speed? Where am I breaking? People don't seem to know you can change your lobby and post lobby messages and it's hidden away. Oh! I'm gonna have to do that then. I hate myself. Why did I do this? I'm assuming the goal here is to put your car right on the upper limit of what is allowed in terms of performance, right? Do we have... Uh, do we have door numbers? This is, this is stupid. Why is it not just balanced? Ugh. Oh, yellow flag. How someone crashed? Unless it's this bloke that was mucking around. Oh no, it's some other bloke. I'm about to run out of hybrid too, which will decrease my power even more. Why is this car sputtering? Hey Kiwi, how are you going? 
Welcome to Daily Race A. Where I'm so far off the pace, it's not even funny. Because there's no balance of performance. Oh. Not gonna lie. Unless I can find some sort of regular source for good tunes to put on the cars before a week of daily races. I struggle to see myself doing these on my own. Yes, daily. And it's absolutely awful because none of the cars are balanced. So what I'm hoping is that maybe Mr. MCA or AMS Dude does a does a regular sort of a regular weekly race video which shows people good tunes because I can't just see myself jumping on and doing this mucking around with the tuning it's just not my thing This is, this is so painful, it's not even funny. Oh my god. I wonder if the bloke at the front is on his own or if there's someone right on top of him. I think he's on his own, to be honest. man, when you've got a daily race at three, but you've got to pick the kids up from school at four. Because what's gone is the jump in and play aspect that we had in the daily races in GT Sport. That's gone. You can't just jump in and play anymore. Yeah, that guy up there was on his own. Break balance control. Oh, it's not what I wanted to do. I don't think I have the brake balance installed on this car. I don't. 110 laps remaining. Actually, that's cool that fuel use is on. That's good, I like that. Oh, I didn't come last. Someone quit. Oh my goodness. Yep, see you later. Jeez. Oh, I just cannot get over how awful that is. Alright, now, is there... What were you saying before? You can change your lobby and post lobby messages. It's hidden away. Where's it hidden? No. Options? Nope. Surely it's here. Hmm. 
Let's try. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know, but we're not going to be touching those daily races again. Oh, I tell you what, I'm getting hungry. Let's just see if I can find some food. I'll be I'll be two seconds. Go options. Okay, oh no, Tezzle, Tezzle let me know. Options. Profile. Aha! Yes, sir. I'm not going to fit Twitter there, am I? We still have these, like, Unicode things. You could go, like... Yeah. Which one? I just forget which number is the GT logo. Is it one? Yes. Excellent. There's six of you here now, so I'll do a race. But I'm hungry. I need food. Oh, we're going to have to upgrade here. Suggested PP 450. Oh. We'll just use that. Easy. I don't know what ties are. Thank you, Tez, for that, by the way. Tuning shop. We have to go and make sure we've got all the tyres. Sport soft, please. And the brake balance controller. Right, I get the Sylvia Q's. Q's. How do you, how do you pronounce that? Q. 
Q apostrophe S. It looks like you pronounce it Q's. Why do you love the Toyota 86? That was pretty risky there, committing to the throttle like that, because some cars will just... Some cars go at half throttle. Alright, let's be careful at that corner then. Two more laps to grab Rick Kevillan. Oh, I was a bit low in the revs, a bit too low in the revs. like to go at this corner. That's a bit deep. I want to see if I can get this corner right without oversteering on the exit. No, that wasn't too bad. Look, the AI in these menu in these uh, single races aren't fantastic, are they? I have a video coming out today uh, that uh, that is about a race I had with AI cars. It comes out in two hours, two hours from now, at high speed ring in the rain. And that race was actually a very good race against AI cars. What's the next one? What's this? Slaty 98? I've never heard of that before. 
weird. Uh, cool. High speed ring. And I win the Corolla 11. Oh, you're testing the new pedals. New pedals are so nice. Brake pedal, I need hell more force to slow down the car. Yeah, that's the biggest thing I hear when people get new pedals like that. Like big pedal upgrades is the amount of force required for the brake. But yeah, it's one of those things you get used to and then you'll really appreciate the amount of feel you get once you're used to it. Look at that, I'm in the lead already. I hope your pedals... I hope your pedals serve you for a long time. I wonder if this corner's flat at full speed. No, it's not. All right, well, we learnt that the hard way. <laughs> that corner is not flat at top speed. Awesome. Sensational flawless victory if you ignore when I spun out. Mark the tech guy, welcome to the stream. How do you play online? You have to do up to menu book number 10. So you have to go through the GT Cafe and finish the objectives until you finish the ninth book and then you get to unlock online. There's a quick little driver's briefing but it takes about 30 seconds just to read through and then that's it. You can jump into daily races. Um, you need to sort of have a good tune on your car though, have it tuned right to the upper limit of what is allowed for the particular race you're doing, otherwise you get left in the dust like I just did in about 10 minutes ago. There's also meeting places on each of the tracks which I think is just free roam essentially on the track and then you have like multiplayer private lobbies where someone can set all the settings. But yes, you unlock all of that after menu book number nine. So I'm doing 
I've just unlocked it. See, I'm on menu book number 10, which is the FR sports car. And I just finished menu book 10. So now I get to head back to the cafe and get menu book 11. I can't wait to hear all about it, Luca. Oh, we have Deep Forest. Nice. Okay, Luca, what are you on about? Japanese sports cars are all very popular now. They're worth quite a bit now, aren't they? I actually quite like okay, that. Okay, I'll, I'll keep you updated indeed. on the pace. Just let me alone, I know what to do. Oh! R4M, Quentin Rod Brown III has subscribed. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Hope you enjoyed the... the Kimi Raikkonen clip. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. Um, I've got a video coming out later today, so I suppose that's probably the first video you'd watch. If anyone else is not already following me, be sure to subscribe. Face reveal at 500 subs. We're 38% of the way there. Alright. I'm going to get the... Oh, French hot hatches. So this will be maybe the Citroen DS3. The Renault... Renault Clio, and I'm trying to think of what the third one might be. Uh, Peugeot, it'll be a Peugeot, I reckon. Peugeot 208, DS3, Clio. Oh, I would, wouldn't have guessed 308, but that was an alright guess. <laughs> If you bring me all three, I might have a little reward waiting. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you, Luca. It's in the form of a beautiful hot cup of coffee. I could really go for that right now. But to those of you watching now, I'm going to dip shortly for about five minutes or so. and Just make whip up a quick lunch. I won't end the stream, but I'll just be AFK for a second. But I suppose while there's nine of you here, which is one of the upper... One of the higher levels of viewers I've had all stream. I'll do a bit of a race. Let's do Deep Forest then. Because I'm sure a lot of you would like to see that. Now, I'm going to make sure I have an appropriate car. So, suggested PP 500. I'm assuming that's what this number means. That's probably your suggested PP in the name. The so Sunday Cup 500, 500 PP. We need a road car from the UK, Germany, France, Italy, or Austria. So let's go to change car and see what we've got to choose from. I think the highest... Oh! Taycan Turbo, 600 PP. Now, what's the limit? 500. What's the suggested? 500. Let's go the Alpine A110. But I probably don't have the tyres I like. All the brake balance controller, so I'm going to have to go back to the tuning shop. Alright, this... I don't hate okay, the tuning shop. I'll give you a date on the pace. It's annoying that you have to go into the race to see. Oh, who else has subscribed? Jayzo Lazy. Thank you. Thank you so much. R4M Jayzo Lazy has subscribed. Welcome to the channel. Thanks very much. Yeah, I, I will say I don't mind the tuning parts. It's annoying that you have to sort of go all the way up to just about starting the race to see 
uh, to see all the regulations. And you have to... I, te I guess you technically don't have to go back to the tuning shop to buy the tyres and the brake balance controller like I just did, but I feel like it's kind of a no-brainer. Okay, I win the DS3 racing from this one. Settings, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have, yeah, the socks on, very good. Hangane. You won't see me without my trademark hat. To do well here at Deep Forest, you need to master the S-Bend section and control your throttle on the inclines. Make sure you accelerate in a way that allows you to stick to your racing line. Thank you. This middle section here is really difficult, by the way. I don't know this track very well either. I know this is quite a long corner, this one. And that middle section is one of the harder bits of track I've, I've ever ha I ever have to learn. Big braking zone here. Where, where am I braking? That's too late. Well, actually, it's not as bad as I thought. That's a beautiful view. Beautiful, uh, beautiful scenery. Oh! Don't look at the stream chat, mate. Jayzo Lazy, cheers. No worries. Where am I breaking? Start of the curve. Okay, a bit before the start of the curve. Oh, Mikhail Hazel driving the A45 AMG. Oh, I've crashed into Bikazel. sliding in some of these road cars. Absolute insanity. Alright, I forget where we broke. Or braked. I forget where we braked here. Let's go one... Let's go the shadow. Alright. Oh, that's the last lap. But we know for next time, before the shadow. No, you can't use the shadow in this game because of dynamic time. That's something I'm going to have to drill out of my head. Don't even attempt to use a shadow as a breaking point. Beautiful. Difficult, difficult track that one. One of the harder tracks in the game, I reckon. DS3. 
Let's move straight on and do the next race then. Uh, oh, I tell you what, actually. Let's do this. I've heard this is difficult. I've heard this is really difficult. chance to react to it. Here we go. Bloody hell. Okay, you can't use the green. Mate, this is pain. Yep. I noticed I unlocked Deep Forest. It's like, hang on a minute. I've seen this middle sector, this sector 2, being notoriously difficult. man. What? I'm half a second away. Why? This car has no business being this hard to drive. Oh. Alright. Note to self. Don't use the Audi if it can be avoided. supposed to drive this? What the hell? Still like two tenths away.
I just don't understand how you can control it, because... where I can gain time. It's just a matter of not losing it before I reach the point. Oh, Inksile GTR. G'day, mate. Welcome to the stream. Where's cockpit view? Oh. Uh, it's inside the car. I wouldn't know about it, though. I just, I, I can't personally handle the cockpit view, it's too, I can't see where the car is, this is a lot better. Yeah, it's all personal opinion, right? How are you supposed to control this car? What the heck? this. I love the use of the technical term. Uh, this is the Deep Forest Circuit Experience Second Sector. So obviously it gives you the car to use. I can't choose a different car. Which I would do in a heartbeat if I could. This thing sucks. don't understand how I don't understand why this car is so difficult to drive it's lift off oversteer and just like regular oversteer what what nobody is going to drive this car I guarantee you nobody's going to drive it Shoes are better than bare feet. <laughs> How do you know I'm in bare feet? I'm not. I'm not wearing socks. Oh, you did it. Well done, Tez. Good on you, mate. I feel like I'm close. As I have you experimented with moving the brake balance rearward? I'll experiment. Oh. Maybe I won't go 
is so extreme. I had it forwards because it was so tail happy. But maybe I need to get the rear doing a bit more. Oh, see, I, I just, I just, I just took that wrong. Then I just. the rear brake balance doing its thing. Oh. Oh my god. In sport, brake balance had a ballast effect. Could be similar. If you don't have weight over the rear tyres, and you don't have weight over the rear tyres that you need, yeah, yeah, no, all, all good. I realise what you're saying. Oh dear. Try zero before rear, okay. Yeah. Looks like it's an enjoyable challenge. You are right, it actually is. It is. I just struggle to see how anybody's gonna actually wanna like do this with tire wear. In a race, in the rain. Thank God. <laughs> mm. Nothing worse than getting it too quickly. You don't learn anything. The balance looks better. Yeah. I think I think maybe zero is your best bet there, actually. Oh, it's because when I watch people play GT Sport, they always said, "Oh, yeah, if your car's." Um, if your car's understeer, you move the brake balance back. If it's oversteer, you move the brake balance forward. So I was struggling with the rear on this car, so I thought I was jam it all, <coughs> jam it all the way forward. Um, but 
Yeah, my, maybe that ballast effect is sort of more important. Thank you. By two thousandths of a second, now I'm just going to go and do the rest of the track. <laughs> I don't know where I'm braking. Let's try. Hey! I just broke too late there. I think you need second gear too. Break later and turn in later. Yeah, that's better. Beautiful. Sometimes it's the exact opposite. More grip needs to weight load, so if you work out why. It's under oversteer. You need to work out why it's under over. Yeah. More grip needs more weight and load. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. You need to you need to get the car doing more. Otherwise, it's just dead weight sort of thing, and it's free to move around. Where if you actually give that weight a purpose, maybe it'll comply a little bit better. Is that is that right? I've still got the one lap attack to do. Oh no! Oh, this is just the last turn here. I just got to work out the breaking point. Let's go. That's too late. <laughs> We'll go just after the 150. Oh, that is a tight corner. That might be first gear. deep there. And I've done it again. Alright, I think for this particular breaking point, I need a bit more front height. There shouldn't be too much weight transfer going on here. Breaking too late. Break on time, mate. Reel it into your head, bro.
want to try that again. I didn't get it right. I think I got the turn in right. I got on the power too early in the, the front of the car, lifted it up. I mean, you had oversteer because the rear tyres had low grip. The low grip was because too much body weight was being moved to the front tyres. You had to leave some weight on the rear tyres. Okay. That actually, it actually does make absolute sense. Especially, yeah, especially if that brake balance is having that ballast effect. Yeah, okay. To increase the lateral load they could handle before losing grip. Yes. not getting it right. That felt better. Tons of rotation on the curbing. I'll, I'll take that. I've got to do the one lap attack, yeah. So that's very much stop, slow, get the bloody car rotated before touching the throttle. Because if you try and get on the throttle while you're still sort of halfway through the turn, it's just going to lift up and oversteer. Oh, I've got to do the one lap attack. I've got to put it all together. Let's go zero for the first bit, and then down the back straight, change it to minus two. This might be a different braking point because I'm taking more speed. Oh no, it's right. Hey, I'm not that far off, hey. This track is fun. I, I agree, actually. I think this is a pretty good track. Well, 
that's okay. We'll try again. Excellent attempt. Thank you. That middle sector's the hardest. I struggle through there, but I guess this is the car to practice it in if you want to get good. Check out this rotation. Oh. Man, that's a difficult track. You'll be an MR master in no time. Oh. Don't know about that. <laughs> no, I'll tell you, if you want to learn about bloody weight transfer, drive this car. Jeez. I want to go again. Nah, this is addicting. <laughs> ah, that's no good. Boy! G'day, Atom. Nice to see you again. Too much speed, surely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that Super GT in your chat? World famous inbound. It is. It's the second time he's jumped in too. Deep forest circuit experience, hey? Nice. Yes. That middle sector was a SOB. Let's put it that way. All right. I think I'm just breaking too late now. broke too early there. I should be grinding, but I'm here. No, no, you, you're right where you need to be, Inksile. Right where you need to be. So we, as we were turning in.
time at this last turn as well. Especially if I do that. Oh, you're joking! I am stupid. I am stupid. I switch off everything. No, it's alright. I know I can do it. That is so difficult. One more, one more. I just want to get a tidy middle section. Oh, I touched the grass. I touched the grass. More grass than class. Oh, I think I started slowing down too early. Lovely, you're taming the beast. Smitty, is that you? <laughs> is that one of Smitty's catchphrases, is it? Oh, that's just too much speed. Talk soon, a thousand by twenty three. <laughs> See you later, mate. Thanks for dropping in. Thanks for the advice, too. Were well, you not there for the Among Us game? Goat told Smitty to touch grass because he was being a try. <laughs> I don't think I was there for that one. You moved him to Mondays, and I can't do Monday. 
That's <laughs> that's very funny, actually. I touched the grass, bro. Sliding. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna leave it there. That's a second quicker. With all the advice in the world, only the driver makes a difference. <laughs> Thanks, mate. All right, I'm, I'm getting an understanding of this car at this track, though. Okay. Or, all right. I retract what I said before. Maybe some, someone will drive it. Who knows, though. Oh dear. Still a bit to go. Matthew McEwen, see that what's this? Oh, why? There needs to be a worldwide leaderboard, man. Um I'm, I'm saying it. I'm gonna keep saying it. What the world leaderboard and there needs to be replays to watch. Unless it's, unless it's sort of coming. Unless it's on the way. Oh, dear. Okay, that's very addictive, that time trialing. Alright, uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and sort out something for my lunch, but I'll be like five minutes. So, I'm just going to go AFK for five minutes. There needs to be a note I need to, I can put on the screen just to let people know I'm, I'll be back. But yeah, I'm just going to find, I'm just going to grab some lunch. I'll be five minutes. Or if someone wants to make me an intermission screen. <laughs>
Hello, I'm back. Thought I could whip up a quick intermission thing quick, but uh, for some reason it edited the name as well. Don't ask me why it does that, so I'm going to have to work that out more. For those of you that have just joined, I'm having a quick, quick break. I've got the pears going on. Probably can't even see it. Pear. Oh yeah, baby. Grapes. And some rice in a cup that I've got hot water in waiting to cook. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What we can do though. Um, we'll go to Brand Central, and we'll just have a look at the cars in there, because I think that's about all I can manage to do with one hand on a pair and the other. I saw this before, Wicked Fabrication. It's got some car in here. We'll go learn more. What's... I don't even know what this car is. Oh, there you go. A Ford Custom Club Coupe from 1951. How much is it? 300,000? Jeez! Bloody hell. I guess the Chaparral 2J is going to be a legend car, right? Would anyone in chat like to see a specific brand? Tell you what, that'll be fun to learn, this car. Look at that, 719 horsepower. That's insanity. I'd like to see what Porsches they have. Actually, this is the first time I'm seeing this car. It was teased a while ago, I think. Wow, $3 million for a Group 1 car. My goodness. $3 million. Alright, 
what have they got in here? I can have a Group 1 car, or I can have a Ferrari FXXK for $600,000 more. I find it interesting that DS Automobiles has its own section, but it's only got one car in it. If I'm not mistaken, DS is just Citroen's performance brand, isn't it? Hmm. What's in Gran Turismo then? The go kart, of course. Genesis. This is going to be the first time I'm looking at these too. <clears throat> oh, there's a road car. That's cool. Oh, I didn't know there was a road car also coming. I like the lights going down the side of the car. Kiwi, do we know how to get the Group C cars yet? I'd imagine they're probably going to be in the Legend cars. The Legend car dealership, which I haven't uh, unlocked yet. Look at this. Look at that. You just get, you just put boiling water in that, and it turns into a delicious, nutritious cup of, of rice and vegetable goodness. I have like a few of these in the cupboard, so then if I get to lunch or dinner and I realise I don't have an ingredient that I thought I had, which tends to happen quite often, last time I went to cook butter chicken I didn't even have cream, and I was like, oh. But I'd already cut up all the chicken, so I had to run and get the cream on that occasion. So what's in BBS then? Because they're a wheel manufacturer, aren't they? Oh, it's just their museum, right. Yari Amamiyo's back. The Prius. Should I go ahead and buy it? Or does, does it come... How uh, do you win it for a menu book? Don't think I've unlocked it either. I'm on book 16. So yeah, you must have to get quite deep into the game to actually unlock that part. I guess that makes sense, because if you legend cars, you have to work for them. 
It's good that the safety cars are just in Brand Central now. You don't have to. There's not mileage points as well, which found which uh, I found quite pointless in GT Sport, to be honest. Oh, there's the Supra. I haven't even driven that in this game yet. Okay, so some Group 1 cars are a, million, are a million credits, which feels a bit more reasonable. But then you got that one, was it a Porsche, was it? That was just 3 million credits, just cash? Yeah, no thanks. I'll tell you what else I can do. We can check the used car dealership, because they change every day, don't they? Oh. Oh, there's Atom's car. He gushed on stream what uh, when he found this in his used car dealership on his stream. See, I'd buy that Renault in a heartbeat. It's only so expensive in here at the moment. Not that I expect the price to come down, but I want to earn more credits. Oh, I want to see what BMW has. Why there's the i3 and not the i8, I have no clue. It's actually just the same selection in GT Sport. Two M3s. Oh, and there's the old 1989 M3 competition, right? But that's um, not in Brand Central. Ah, uh, well. Alright. Tell you what might be better. Is I'll just do some menu book races. And eat in between. Because otherwise I'm probably going to be sat here for 10 minutes just eating. And that's not very exciting, is it? So I'm just doing the hot hatches. Oh. Yeah, these races only take three minutes, so. Oh, road track A. Radio. Um, let's choose a different car. Let's show up with something slightly underpowered. The DS3. Now I've got to go and make sure I've got the right tyres and the brake balance uh, selector. Oh, I've got to remember it, it will automatically go back for me. Actually, that's really buffed the PP already. Oh well. 
Mine is exactly the same from yesterday, only like one is different. They must sort of... Maybe each car actually has is on its own cycle, that it's not necessarily all at the same time. Hi, Mikhail. I've only got two laps here. Oh, it's setting your B. Did not do this race. I've done this race. Ah oh, well, we'll do it again. Oh no! <laughs> All right, that corner's not flat. Or well, maybe it is. I just took it too narrow. Take a bit of a wider line, man. That's better. I was too narrow. Oh, the sun's coming up. Got one lap to catch Koke. Okay. Yeah, I love how before the race you had Mick Mikazal at the bottom telling everyone he was gonna win. But he's gotten beaten by a fellow AI car. Later, Koke.
That is how it's done. That's how you beat World Tour drivers. Oh, M. Grady. There's Tichney. There's Tichney in there. I had no idea I was racing the uh, Tichney's AI car. Alright, back to the cafe we go. I'll listen to your stories, Luca. Whatever lets you sleep at night. Oh, look at that. That's just choreography there. Okay, that was a very good um, cinematic sequence there. Seeing the cars drive in into formation. Petite course de France. Alright, what's that all about then? Finishing the top three. Oh, okay, cool. We've got a French championship now. Oh, it's at Alsace too. That, that's awesome. What? Oh, man. This is beautiful. Do you reckon they're cars to do with setting up the racetrack driving around, or if they're trying to say it's a street circuit? Oh, Nismo Nath! Zero out of ten should have crashed. It would have been funnier. <laughs> No, they wouldn't want to scratch up the escalators if they crashed, so, yeah. What's up, lads? Yeah, g'day, Nismo. How are you, mate? I'm just sort of snacking down on a bit of lunch. On a bit of lunch while we're sort of in between races here. I've got no clue what car I've chosen. Oh, my DS3. Seems like we're up against other sort of hot hatches and lower performance cars, so... Oh. Yeah, we'll stick with it. Alrighty, Alsace. Let's just channel my inner Mazda Atenza. That's a weird curb on the inside there.
bought the DeLorean yet, mate. I sure have. Oh, can I use the DeLorean for this challenge? I'll see if it lets me use the DeLorean. Sometimes they might... See, I had a championship before and it would only let me use, like, a car from certain countries. Here's the beast. i got to lower the ride height, though, because it's quite boaty, to be honest. Feels a bit like a boat. Well, not even not even a boat. It's just under braking. It likes to rotate all over. French Championship, yeah, country France. There we go. Uh, that's okay. We'll use our slightly underpowered DS3 racing, but. Redeem your tickets, yes! I should have done that while I was in the garage, shouldn't I? I'll do it after. Look at all the French AI here. I think they have an expiry, don't they? Oh, do they? Oh. I have been redeeming them, I just haven't done it for a little while yet. Ominous clouds there. No, no rain. I don't know if this track has rain. Oh, that's the grass. And that's the arse. What? Okay, yeah, I saw that coming. The minute I put my foot on the brake, I saw that coming. At least I kept it out of the fence. There's the Alsace dodgy track pit lane. Whoa! Alright, that definitely got away from me under braking there. I was not expecting that. Look at that beautiful Renault, I can't wait to afford that. Right, let's overlay a bit then. Oh! How the hell are you meant to brake in this car? That's thunder for me. That's thunder. I'll have to check the weather the weather radar. Oh no, we're all good. No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. I legit heard thunder coming from outside though, so we'll have to see if there's a storm on the way. Alright, Inksile was in the stream earlier said that the brake balance had almost sort of a ballast effect. So sometimes moving the brake balance in the opposite direction to what you think might actually help. So 
want to try it. Because all the tail happiness here makes you want to go forward with the brake balance. Oh, Nismo, if you're still there, have you done the Deep Forest uh, Circuit experience yet? Those weird curbs on the grass are very strange. Okay, maybe overlaying doesn't work in an FF. Because I tried the overlay, the car stepped out, I stopped the overlay, and it sort of fixed itself up. Oh, I've only got two corners left here. That's embarrassing. We're going to have to retry that. Oh, hang on. It's a championship. I can afford to finish second and finish first. As long as Pangane doesn't also go on to finish second. It would just be safer to restart, wouldn't it? But I like to live life on the edge. Not the circuit experience, but I saw Monkey Bat doing it this morning. Yeah, it's that, that Audi is an absolute handful. It doesn't necessarily matter if I don't win both races, I just have to win the championship, right? I was doing it before Nismo, I just about started to get the car under control, but it was hard. Let me just finish this rice, I've only got a couple of spoonfuls left. Mm-mm-mm. Delicioso. There is a bit of a storm near me, but I don't think it's going to last very long. It's almost going to go straight over the, over the, the north side of the city. Oh, I don't think I'll get it too bad. So we'll keep streaming. Instead of planning on going maybe till 4 o'clock my time, which is another hour and a half. Alright, to next race. Alright, I've got an interesting thing here. I've got to make sure Pangane doesn't finish second. Because I'm sure if I finish first, he finishes second this time. He'll still win the championship because he was ahead coming into this race. So if I can sort of punt, punt him off a bit, that might be good.
track have wet weather? But surely not all of the tracks have wet weather, right? I know no American tracks have it, but... Oh, I don't know what corner's coming up here. I don't know this track. I know the track, I don't know it in this direction. Oh, Pangane's up into the lead. Damn, yeah, it'd be a shame if he got punted off. It really would. That was horrific. That was my own fault too. No one else's fault but my own there, my own stupidity. I'm here, little Alpine. Oh, <laughs> that's absolutely backfired. <laughs> now I look like a clown. I'm going to have to restart the championship. Oh, no. No, I've, I've truly just absolutely ruined that. Alright, I'm going to have to do it properly, aren't I? BFW want a word. <laughs> no, I'm going to be sacked from the Citroen factory squad. Citroen are not going to want anything to do with me anymore. That's quite unfortunate. What a clown. That's quite unfortunate. What an absolute clown. That's quite unfortunate. Only the real OGs know where that comes from. Oh. 
was about to say what a move. Good thing I kept my mouth shut. Oh, how slow do you want to go, bro? Jeff Gordon, sort yourself out. Okay, we'll do the championship properly this time. Who knows, maybe I could have won it by getting second and then first. Maybe it puts the player ahead if you've tied. Okay, I crashed in the last race and I don't think I lost as much time. That's so hard, that corner. Maybe this actually isn't working on this car. Oh, clean as you like. Clean as you like. A perfectly exacted move. 11 seconds. I'll... I'm going to be shocked if I can do this. There's no way I could go 10 seconds quicker. Gain two seconds in that corner, though. Another second in that corner. This car's gonna get in my way. Another, another second. Okay, may maybe it's possible. Just have to not crash into the hairpin. Maybe I, maybe I can gain two seconds in this corner. I didn't actually mean to punt him. No! No! Get back here, criminal scum. Let's not crash the hairpin. That's what's undoing me, is I'm crashing at the hairpin every, every attempt.
Alright, I overtook that Alpine a lot sooner than I did last time. Which tells me I've had a good start. Oh, I thought I could slip up the gap. All good, Nismo. No worries. Thanks for dropping in. Have a good one, man. If you don't, if you don't end up coming back, no worries. It's going to be something seriously wrong with me if I don't win this one. Alright, don't bin it here. That's my only job now. Gentle. I nearly did. Beautiful. That's what we want to see. None of this bloody mucking around. Now got to do it the other way.
Alright, where could I possibly crash going in this direction? There, apparently. Oh, that felt beautiful. Oh, I've misjudged that. Oh. Note to self, that breaking point is too late. I thought I was flying straight into the barrier then. Like that. It's okay, it's not over yet. Witchy, g'day. I am still alive. I'm also still alive. Yeah, I mean, I got no. I still got no, nothing else to do. So basically, all I was gonna do is stop the stream and either keep playing or not do anything at all. So I figure I may as well still still go. What? Uh, so what race did you have, Twitchy? Got to catch the baguette, man. Wee wee baguette. What, uh, yeah, what race did you have Twitchy? Is it all all over now? I feel like I'm at a disadvantage here because I'm in the Citroen DS3. He's in the Alpine A110. An FF versus a... What's that, an FR car? Man, I'm gonna have to have an absolutely nuclear last corner. I'm not gonna catch him, am I? I'm gonna see if this will let me win the championship though, because it should be um, should be even points. Round eight of GT Champions, however, it got cancelled because only two to three people attended. Oh. 
Well, there you go. Alright, does that... Does that let me win the championship? It does, even on points. Yeah, everyone's, uh... Everyone's boycotted Div 1 League for GT7 after seven rounds. Big names, too. I'm not surprised, to be honest. If I was if I was in charge of a league racing championship on GT Sport, um, I would not have it run over, run over the course of a game. Uh, I've been going on the middle one. Oh, yeah, I'll take the Z28. Because, yeah, inevitably, you are just going to get people that don't want to practice in an old game. Kind of disappointing, but it's cool, because I'm leading my five points. <laughs> I bet... Oh, you'd be completely fine with everybody pulling out of the championship, wouldn't you, then? <laughs> you probably wouldn't. You probably wouldn't be, actually, because they may not even award it in that case, but... No, good on you for leading. Tess, new video just uploaded, hey? Yeah, very good, mate. Tez knows what's up. It's a good one, too. Good one, too, in my opinion. Oh, I've got missions now. doesn't really affect much just jump on gt sport the day of or the day before and practice like i did but yeah i was keen to race yeah i imagine you were was it the last round how many rounds are left i hope they turn up for round nine if not they might just call a season there and crown the winners hopefully like i hope whatever happens you still win your championship Because they would have to, surely, yeah, by by seven rounds or whatever we're up to. Um, they wouldn't just sort of forget the championship if everyone pulled out. They would have to award a winner at that point. Okay, so I've got everything except Legend Cars, which is in between these two. What menu book am I up to? I'll be up to like 14 or something. Uh, missions. Okay, so they wanted me to do the Magic Mountain. And they wanted me to do the pass. Oh. <laughs> oh, should I just do this one? <laughs> I'm just going to do this one. I've never driven this car. Look at this. Me and the boys off to World War 3. So hard to see. I suppose that's the point of it being night time. Oh, there's a corner there. Oh, I didn't even win it. I didn't even win it. I thought I had a full lap. Round nine is nerve group four. Nerve. Uh, Jeez. Round 9 is BMW Group 4 at Nürburgring GP, and the last is the Renault RS01 Group 3 at Le Mans. They're not even bad combos. I'd understand if it was like, uh, 
Toyota 86 at Autopolis, I'd probably skip that too. You have to do the first one. Yeah, no, I, I figured that much. I just thought it'd be fun to jump onto the... I'd be fun to jump on the Willy's Jeep and have a go. That's quite fitting. Kangaroo Jack is number one on my friend's ranking. Oh, that's Shiza. Maybe that turn one's flat and I'm losing time there for no reason. Surely get this move done at this corner. Yes, sir. Yes! <laughs> I've just won the Willys Jeep Grand Prix. Alright, we'll actually do the one we need to do now. This one. Deep Forest Turn 1. Overtake all cars by the finish line. Colliding with other cars will disqualify you. So Danny Racing's done it in 20 seconds. Jeez. Alrighty. That was close. All right. Well, that was the that was a, a very easy menu. Although the easiest one I've done so far is uh, tune the Mini Cooper to three hundred and sixty performance points. Let's go back to the cafe. So what, Tez, have you got my stream up on one window and my video up on the other? Mustangs now. Mustang Boss, Mustang Mac 1, Mustang GT. The Oversteery boys. Haha, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes, Tez. All right, what have we got to do now? Blue Moon Bay Speedway. 550 performance points. Oh, that's going to be pretty underpowered, isn't it, if I use this? Straight line speed's going to be important. I should have... 
Alright, let's give it some proper... Yeah, comfort mediums. Yuck. Sports soft. And brake balance. See, this is the kind of car I'd probably have no issues upgrading a little bit more. Should I give it better brakes? 16,000? Jeez. Hundred thousand for nitrous. I can't afford that. Oh, I gotta stop pressing back. Racing brake pads. I could use those. Have you done licenses yet? I have. I have. They were all um you know, there was some sprinkling there was a sprinkling of challenges in there that were quite difficult. But then, nothing compared to that last one. What the hell is that? I got it in the end, but jeez, man. That one was so difficult. Oh, yeah, let's give it. Um, I can't put a turbo on this one. Sport suspension. Yes, I would like stable steering, please. I would also like sports brakes. That'd help me out. How fun is S1? <laughs> Which one was that? Um, oh, I'll be able to remember it. S1. Unless you mean S10 and you typed it wrong. Yeah, it's weird. There's a dry line you need to follow. Yeah, yeah. I, I worked out the ins and outs of it. It was just a matter of just actually just doing it. What will this racing air filter do? Boost peak power. That doesn't change my performance points. See, do I? Oh, I think I think I understand what I need to do. I don't want to spend sixteen k on brakes. Jeez. Oh, that's a good one. Racing brake kit. No, S one the Lambo at high speed ring. Okay, yeah. That one was good. I was actually lifting for turn one, and then Danny came into the stream, and he's like, no, you don't need to lift, bro. I'm like, what? You don't need to lift? Because I was struggling with the lift. And he goes, yeah, he, he let me know. Start up really high and come down really late. And I'm like, ah. Okay. Now, do I need to adjust the brakes now? No, it's already on racing drill discs. Oh my god. So complicated, man. Why is it so complicated? Alright, let's go. I tell you what, my, I've only got four gears, don't I? I'm probably going to max out. I might need to go back and buy a gearbox. Right, let's see how we go.
somehow got it down pat and got a 10.5. Nice. I don't even remember what time I got. No, that's awesome. Yeah. It was a good challenge, actually. Once I learned how to take turn one, uh, it was good fun. Okay, I don't think I actually need to upgrade the gearbox. It seemed to be fast enough. Maybe I'm not. I haven't gained too much time here. Yeah, 100%. That's exactly how I felt through turn one. I was like, oh my god, I want to be... I want to have to lift, but I, I don't need to. And whatever... Oh my god. And, and whatever tyres that Lambo is on is, um, just makes it feel really, uh, oh, I'd really prefer not to hit the limiter straight off the start. Stodgy. The tyres make the car feel really stodgy and it, like it moves all over the top of the road. You're just flying through turn one at full throttle, like it's insanity. 100 meter board. Probably go even later. Oh, it is turn, it is lap one though. Sports mediums, it has grip, it doesn't have grip, exactly. the adjustable manual transmission, I think. I was doing the uh, Deep Forest Circuit experience before, and I enjoyed that one. That one was good. Like, annoying, but like the challenge is good. Alright, I'm gonna have to have a ripper final lap here. Thanks, mate. Yeah, that's not happening, is it? I need to upgrade. So I don't want to just make every car an overpowered beast. Fully adjustable manual transmission, 17,000, oh my god. Supercharger, that'll, that'll help me out. <laughs> right. 
Racing crankshaft. That's probably oh, 15k. That'll boost me to 300 horsepower. That'll get me 303. I don't think I need to buy those. I will anyway. They're only 600. Oh, yeah. We'll chuck those on. I won't bother with that. 2,500. That's hardly anything. Okay, that'll do. I wanted to go into the settings. Alright, so... I've got no clue what I'm doing here. I have a Do I have a braking? Do I have somewhere to measure my braking? Oh, I must be better. Oh, so complicated. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, I think I've upgraded that enough. It should give you a fifth gear, and it does. Beautiful, okay. Got better straight line speed, that's good. Oh, I'm going a lot faster into there. That's not a lift anymore. That's not just a lift anymore. <laughs> I actually have to slow down. Hey, what, does anyone know what the slipstream range is? Is it seven and a half tenths still? It's not as strong anymore, is it?
knew that car would get in the way. I knew that would happen. Oh, that poor Trans Am. Got to upgrade, bro. Sorry, mate. Oh, maybe we can do this one. Oh, that was my fault. Whoops. That could have spun me out. if that's too much to ask. Three seconds. I think it might be. Oh, it's not that far off though. Oh, I reckon I can do it. I'm still going to get the car, aren't I? But that's not acceptable. We have to win. That wasn't a very good turn one, actually. Well, we got past those two cars a lot earlier than last time. Don't crash. Break balance here. Oh. 
Now I'm stuck in this group, although he's only three seconds there, actually. I'm going to continue with this. Push me into the wall, Mr. Felix. Oh, I've been punted. That's an example of driving that makes you look bad. I've still not done it. I know I can do it. I have to not run into the back of the cars in the corners. That's my biggest issue. So I would have done that if I didn't get caught up on lap two. Was close. Surely I can do it this time. We're only three seconds away and I've got a whole lap. Don't get caught up here. Oh, beautiful. Oh! I don't want to give any of them slipstream. Funny, I struggle to beat it in three laps, and then all of a sudden I get get into one race and I beat them in two. I guess they must fight each other occasionally. Oh, imagine if those cars crashed into me then. That would have been quite the spectacle.
Hey! The, the Loch Ness Monster on Deep Forest is apparently back. I thought it was gone. Beautiful. We finally done one. Willow Springs, let's get this out of the way. Oh, sorry, mate. Didn't see you there. Whoops. I'm sorry, I'm an asparagus. I'm gonna go off here. I was there, mate. Bit of fanfare at the end. Cool, I'm glad that was done first try. What else we got? A Laguna Seca.
the outside of him. Two people going side by side. Oh, they've sorted themselves out just as well. Oh! How do I punt him and he still makes the corner? I tell you what, as soon as you have to change your hand position to catch it, that's it, you flick it back the other way. on the curb, that's clean. well held if I do say so myself. Awesome, alright. One more lap to get two more cars. Of that corner. I'm not driving a Group 3 car. Get this one more bloke. Oh, that was nearly game over. That's gonna bed a straight line speed. Ah! Oh! That is pain. Hello, Payne, my old friend. I should have punted him. Look at that, I'm such a good driver that punting him isn't even my first... That isn't even the first thing that comes to... Oh, mate. Oh, I think I'm 
made up for with that move. Get past them both before the corkscrew. Oh, the baby just the blue car. Oh, cheeky lock up from the challenger. Oh. Alright, I guess I need second gear. Here, mate. Turned into me there. Oh man, that was that was actually a good race. That was actually quite good. Up against the AI there. That was quite good actually. I tell you what, these road cars, they aren't half bad in this game. I, I, I really dislike the road cars in GT Sport. To be completely honest with you, because they were just so hard to drive. But now, they actually respond like a car should. And they don't transcend into a barrage of understeer every time you touch the wheel. I right, tell you what, let's go and get, Nismo said before, go and get your roulette tickets. We'll go and do that, because I think I probably have quite a few sitting there. Yes, I've got four, okay. Do they expire? I guess this is the expiry here. I'll, I'm going to get that tiny little... I'm going to get some kid's pocket money there at the front. Watch. Told ya. Bloody told ya. Wow, 2,000 credits. I'm so rich. I bet the same thing's going to happen. I'm going to get the smallest gift. Oh, I'll take the REM at me. Oh, that'll be alright. Oh, I got the second smallest that time. Was that 5,000? Oh! 
What a guess. Alright, these two star tickets should have better rewards on the table. That big stack of cash looks good. I'll take whatever that is at the front though. No, the smaller stack of cash, that'd be right. Cool, I'll go and get myself a happy meal with that. Oh, can I have the Scirocco? Actually, I've already got one. Oh, yeah, I'll take the camshafts. Is that what they are? Yes, camshafts. Oh, oh for the Toyota Tundra. Alrighty. I've got loads of new cars in here. Alright, back to the cafe. How long have we been? Five hours, goodness me. I'll see what the next menu book is and we'll go from there. So I still have to go grocery shopping for today. Oh, I got Daytona. Alright, well, what, what do you got for me, Luca? Walking Encyclopedia. Oh, so the boss was for NASCAR. All right. Didn't tell me anything about the Mac 1, though. Oh, Camaros now. I've already got one. But I need the ZL1 and the SS. See what races these want. Blue Moon, Willow Springs again. Oh, because I only need to do two, right? Okay, well, let's get this out of the way. Oh, they want 600 performance points here. What if I've got a more powerful car? Uh, let's go and upgrade the Z28 a bit more then, I guess. That gives me a, ho a good horsepower boost. Oh, I've got to stop pressing back. Let's do that. Oh, 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 I'm not going to buy the tyres, actually. Nah. I want 573. Gotta bring me up to 68. 
Can't do that. Oh, it's quite a bit here, isn't there? I can't do that. What's this one? Sports clutch. Sure. Oh, secure traction? Yes, please. I'd love that. Thank you. All right, let's go and see what we can do with those parts. All right, what have we got here now? Oh man, I'll tell you what. I want to see the difference that makes. Okay. Give it a little bit more top speed because we've given it more stuff. Is that the right term? That's obvious. You want the most horsepower. I don't oh I don't need the nitro. Hmm. Alright, let's see what we can do there then. It'd be stabler on the exit of corners, apparently, is what it's telling me. Oh, it's the road course. It's oversteering. Whoa! I've ruined it. Felt so much nicer before. Oh my goodness! Alright, let's be really careful then.
I'm getting getting a hang of it now. As I nearly crash. Saw that coming. I was pretty good to keep that out of the fence though. by the AI. They're fighting back. I refuse to accept responsibility for that because I was turning left into the corner and I got spun to the right. It's not like I was turning right across his front. So the curbs kind of grab the car and force it into a spin. So don't touch it. Whoa! Don't touch the yellow stuff that the AI cars can get away with. So I can barely get away with not touching it. Touch that curbing. I really should have used a Mustang for this challenge. Oh, I'm sorry. Because I used this Camaro for the Mustang challenge, it only makes sense to then use a Mustang for the Camaro challenge. I've just gone so nervous since I put those tuning parts on. I guess that that's where the skill of actually being able to adjust all the settings comes into play. It's a skill I simply do not have. You're kidding! You're absolutely joking! Wonder if it's still possible.
Uh, would have had that if I didn't crash. Gap is always closing. Beautiful switch back. It's not spinning out through here now. Okay. Peewee, not sure why I put testers in these races. Oh, mate, they're American classics, you know. Nothing screams American classic more than the Chevrolet Camaro, uh, the, the Ford Mustang, and the Tesla Model S. They go hand in hand. Don't do that. It's just quintessential American uh, motor history. on the throttle. Don't spin out, please. Perfect. Oh, he keeps it off the fence, and he keeps it off the fence. Alright, what do we got? Two more races, or one more race, because we have one of them. It's going to be the last race of the stream. Because I, I still have to go to the bloody shop. I've got nothing to do. Nothing for brekkie tomorrow. Off to go and buy stuff.
And I, the sooner I get that out of the way, the better. I really should have done it earlier this morning when I woke up, but uh, can't always get what you want. All right, am I going to be on one of the... Oh, no, Big Willow, okay. Oh, this has got to feel terrible with this oversteery car now. Right, this last turn is going to be interesting. Oh! Whoa. That's what scariness looks like. Oh no, what? I was facing straight. This is exasperating. All right, let's not get all out of shape out of here this time. Very good. Oh no. Oh. That was so close, man. I thought I was gone. Oh, it's DeLorean. I'll tell you what, I probably could have used that car for all these races. Ah, uh, well.
I love how the DeLorean's driven by E. Brown as well. That's a good Easter egg. For those who don't know, E. Brown is like the initial of Dr. Emmett Brown, who played Doc. Uh, that was Doc in Back to the Future. The actor isn't Emmett Brown. The, the, the character is called Emmett Brown, but everyone called him Doc. went off into the desert. is so nervous. So nervous. That should be the Camaros done and dusted. Yeah, I could have been using the DeLorean this whole time. I am stupid. Mustang Boss looks particularly mean, doesn't it? Oh dear, I think that's probably, I'm probably going to call it there. Oh, I need to go outside. Give my eyes a rest. Or will we go and photograph the DeLorean and that'll be it? Okay. We'll go and do that then. Don't know how the scapes work in this game. Maybe, uh... Well, this car was built in Ireland. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I started the I started the menu.
turn the wheels more. Ugh, my driver looks terrible. I don't think I want the movement. That looks better. I am happy. Thank you, Luca. Yeah, we'll go and share mine. Very good. Trial Mountain, that'll be great for the next stream. That's seriously going to take that long. Oh, good. I was going to say, I'm not sitting here for bloody 20 minutes to upload one photo. Jeez. Anyway, I'm going to call the stream there, I think. We've been going for nearly, actually, coming up towards six hours. It's ridiculous. All right, well, I'd like to thank every single viewer for jumping in chat and watching, including Super GT for, for a little while. Uh, towards the start of the stream. But yeah, I think that was another great day playing Gran Turismo 7. Finally got my dream car. But yeah, that's going to wrap this up. So once again, I'd like to thank every one of you for watching. Uh, go and watch my new video.